Creating a bootable USB to install an operating system from is really nothing new and something I've done multiple times over the years, if not for personal projects, for videos. And they're a really nice thing to have on hand even if you don't think you're gonna need to use them. Be it you're just reformatting your Mac because it feels a little slow, or preparing to sell it on secondhand markets, or even just give it to someone that you don't want to have your stuff on it. Or if you even buy a Mac that doesn't have software on it. This it's your key to fixing pretty much all of those problems. And today I'm going to show you an easy way to make one for yourself for Mac OS 11.4 Big Sur. Let's get started. So really the only things you're going to need for this are a USB drive, a Mac, and an internet connection. You can do this on PC, but it's a lot harder and I personally don't know how to do it, so I'm going to be doing it on the Mac where I know how to do it. So the flash drive that you're going to want is going to be a minimum of 16 gigabytes and preferably USB 3 or faster. You can do it on USB 2 and if you are a complete psychopath you can do it on USB 1 but if you, if you want this to be a quick process that's not going to happen. So a minimum of a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0 flash drive is what you need but I'm going to be using this uh, what the hell is it? Easy Store 32 gigabyte flash drive for today's demo. I'm going to be doing it on my iMac so let's actually switch over to the iMac. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our flash drive. You're gonna wanna make sure there's nothing on it because anything in here is going to get deleted. We're going to have to reformat this flash drive. So if you have any important documents you wanna keep on this flash drive, take them off of the flash drive, put them on your desktop, put them on another flash drive. Don't keep them here because we're nuking this essentially. So once you've ensured that everything's gone, what you can do is you're gonna go to the link in the description to download the install file for Mac OS. You can see we have Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra. What we want is Big Sur. So we're gonna click on it. And it's going to bring up this page in the background and it's going to open us in the app store down here. And you want to click on get. And when you click on get, it's going to open settings under software update and it's going to find the software. I already have it installed. I pre-gamed a little bit. I downloaded it beforehand. So it's already going to bring up the installer. Depending on your internet connection and your device, this is anywhere from like a 10 to 30-ish minute process. So pause the video, come back when it's ready, and uh, we'll continue with the next step. Oh, nice, you're back. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to close out of the installer. We can close settings and the app store. We're going to go back to the original page we were on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the version of macOS that we want to install under the use the create install media command in terminal. You're going to want to copy that or what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it listed in the description for you to copy. I copy that. We can close that. And honestly, we can close and quit Safari at this point. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to open up Terminal. Now I know Terminal can be scary for some people, but there's no scary work in this. We've already done most of the work and the rest of it, it's going to, it's going to walk you through and tell you exactly what you need to do. So you're either going to paste or type the command. You can see here on the screen, my volume. This is argument right here needs to coincide with the name of your flash drive. Now I've named it my volume because it's just easier for copy paste. But if your volume's name is, I don't know, P, P, Poo, Poo. If your volume the name is PP Poo Poo, you want PP Poo Poo to be down here. But it's gonna be my volume for this tutorial. And you're gonna wanna hit enter. And it's gonna ask you for your administrator password. This is the password you use to log into your Mac when it starts up. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna say ready to start. To continue, we need to erase the volume at slash volumes slash my volume. Again, this is going to coincide with whatever the name of your flash drive is. If you wish to continue, type Y, then press return. So this is the part where there's no return. You need to make sure anything that you want on that flash drive is off that flash drive. If you just bought it from the store for this video, you don't have to do anything. Type Y, enter. And it's gonna completely erase the disk. You can see in the corner of the screen, it unmounted it. It's probably gonna ask you, terminal.app would like to access files on a removable volume. You're gonna wanna click okay. And you can see up here, our drive got renamed to install Mac OS Big Sur. And you can see in terminal, it says it's copying to disk 0%. This is going to take a little while, even on faster flash drives. So USB 3, what I have here is gonna take a couple minutes. USB 2, I remember the last time I did a video like this, took like 30 minutes. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. And uh, again, pause the video, come back when it's all done, and we can finish up. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So uh, we finished creating the install media. It's making disk bootable, install media now available at slash volume slash install macOS Big Sur. And that's all we need 
terminal for. So now when you open the flash drive, it just has, has this. There's more in here, you just can't see it because the OS doesn't want you to see it. So now, to test if it works, what we gotta do is I actually have to end my screen recording and then we're gonna want to shut the system down. And this is where it gets different depending on what architecture you have. There's different method for Intel Macs and a different method for the current M1 Macs. With the Intel Macs, what you wanna do is while it's turned off, you wanna hold Command and R and then press the power button once. And you wanna hold Command and R until it boots to recovery mode. Now the Apple Silicon Macs do this a little different. So what you wanna do is you want to press and hold the power button. And it's going to say continue holding for startup options, so you want to keep holding. And it's going to say loading startup options, you can let go, and it will boot into recovery mode. Now you can navigate through the options here. You have your options, which is going to end up being recovery mode. You have your internal disk, which is your normal computer, you want to boot it normally. And anything you have attached to it, like our install USB, it's going to show up here as well. So if we open that. You can see it's going to boot up into Mac OS recovery. It's going to examine the volumes. I think this is new with the M1 Macs, but you have to type in your admin password to do this. Mac OS Big Sur. To set up the installation of Mac OS Big Sur, click continue. Agree. Agree. And you want to select where you want to install it to. So this it says this volume cannot be downgraded because I'm on the developer preview of Monterey for another video. Can't install it on the installer because there's not enough space. But this is what you would do. You would click on the internal hard drive and you would click continue and it will install and go through the whole setup. And you're all set, ready to go. You can install it on really anything that supports Mac OS Big Sur. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, tell me if you found this useful, and if you want to see install tutorials for, I don't know, Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, Monterey, let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.